Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm doing something just a little bit different today. It's early in the morning before I go to work. Um, notice anything different? Just wondering. Um, finally got my hair did. Uh, put it off for way too long. And I uh, don't know why I put it off, but I do. But I went yesterday and I got it all cut off. And feels so much better. Don't know if it actually looks better. And I hope the camera's not too shaky. Like I said, this is kind of something new for me. But anyway, I just wanted to say hey this morning. Um, give you a tour of some things in my house that I really like. Um, just because I have some time to kill because I got ready early. So, I um, hope y'all enjoy and uh, let's get started. This is a little table that sits in my bedroom. Um, I was told it used to be higher, but then the legs were cut off. I'm not real sure. But uh, it was a table that my parents had and used for years as an end table. Had a lot of ring, water ring marks and whatnot on it. And many years ago, I got it from my dad. And uh, a couple of years ago, well, no, about a year ago, I refinished it. I chalk painted it with some Waverly chalk paint that I got in the craft section at Walmart. Um, I can't remember what the color is, but it, it, it's, a, it's a really pretty, like, icy blue. And then I gel stained the top, and I love how it turned out. It put some new life into a very old, worn-out table. And sitting on top, I have a picture of me and my husband. And another picture of me and my baby sister and my stepmom. And a vase of flowers. And I just want to show y'all, this is my living room that I'm about to show you. Um, I didn't do any prepping before I started doing this. So, let me show you what I got here. I have one very lovely couch. I have a huge living room. It's like 21 by 21. But I got a huge, beautiful couch right here. Nice, pretty pillows all lined up. And I got a beautiful coffee table that I'm still in the midst of, of setting up my little tabletop on there. But then you just go over here and you see where the kids have lounged. <laughs> so the pillows are kind of a jumbled up hot mess. So... Yeah, real life, y'all. I know I say that a lot, but, you know, it is real life. And then we're going to go into my foyer, which is actually, if I had to be honest, my very favorite room in my entire house. If I could hold family gatherings and line up chairs and we sit in here and chit-chat, I would do it. Um, got my console table right here. And I have some pillows on it. Um, I need to kind of work on decorating the lower shelves. And I have a couple of plants in here. I got a lamp. Lamp I got from at home. And the lantern I got from at home. This I had got from a local store. And of course my little saying, if mama ain't happy, ain't nobody happy. Because that's very, very true. And that's something that I made. It's a book wreath. I've thought of making one and, and recording while I make it and put it on my YouTube channel. Um, but I made that about five years ago. And I like how that turned out. So I have that. And then I have some crosses on the wall. Home sweet home because I love being home and I love being with my family. And bless this house with love and laughter. And this right here, in honor of my son, who I think I've mentioned before. I, I do have six kids, but he's the one in the Navy, and so I try to represent him as often as I can, because he, he's one of the six that lives far away. Um, he's in San Diego. My stepson, he's in Florida, so he's not here either. So we miss him. 
So we have that. And we have that. And then on my window, or my door, I mean. And then right here, I have my door, or my window, and my wreath, which my husband thinks this is hysterical that I hung a wreath up on the wall with a door behind it, or a window, sorry. But yeah, I paid $10 for that window. I thought it was a very good deal. I love it. So that's my foyer. That's my foyer. Walking back into my living room. I'm gonna spin here around because my, my mantle's a hot mess. I don't know what to do with all my wires. I have no clue. I've got a Wii, or not a Wii, a PlayStation, and then the uh, PlayStation VR, and cable box, and all kinds of stuff. No clue what to do with them. So, I'll spin you back around this way. Now we're gonna walk into my kitchen, and I hope I'm not making y'all nauseous with this walking. I want to show you something else that I just started doing and all this is thanks to somebody else that I follow on YouTube um, I just started collecting Ray Dunn don't have a whole lot I love these right here start with yes and best mom ever I love those I think they are adorable. Have that. that. And then I have this glass bottle. I got this yesterday. It says refresh. I don't know how well you can read, but it's clear glass. And then my lemonade pitcher. Got that right there. And my bowl of fake lemons, which I think is adorable. Got them at Walmart, brighten up the place, starting to do a little spring stuff. So, so we're getting there. And something else that I just really love. Um, I love my coffee and tea sign I have. But one thing I'm thinking about doing here, we wanted to put a mirror right here. Couldn't decide on a mirror. And also some mirrors are really freaking expensive. So, what I think I'm going to do so I'm going to put some shelves up. I found some really pretty shelves that I liked at Lowe's. So put some shelves up there, about two or three. And uh, we'll kind of give it the look of the buffet topper without the cost of the buffet topper because I do have that part, but the other part's quite pricey. So I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna put some of my Ray Dunn on there. So got that. Okay, and I got, well, I guess there's one more thing to show you, and then I'm gonna have to head out the door to work. But uh, I have this right here. And it's just a corner curio cabinet. Uh, gosh, my husband got me that, oh my goodness, 15 years ago maybe? It's been a long time. For a Mother's Day gift, and I had originally painted it white, and about five years ago, I painted it this, what I love, this beautiful color of blue because it gives it an amazing pop. So we have that. And then show you some stuff I have inside. Those tea set right here. Um, I've had these for years and years and years. Um, if I'm not mistaken, these were my mother's grandmothers, I think. And they're very, very delicate. We obviously do not use them. They just sit here. And they're pretty to look at. I just have a few of those, but I display them here. And then right here, I'm honestly not real sure what these are, I think maybe some kind of depression glass. Um, these were my mother's also. I'm not sure if all this set goes together, but they look like they do. But I got some plates and some bowls. 
some little cups. And then honestly, my pride and joy of everything is this bowl right here that I've never been able to find anything out about. I believe this was my mother's grandmother's, but it looks like it's hand painted. Um, I've checked for markings on the bottom and other than, I'm not sure you can see it, but there looks to be a little tiny, it's not showing up, very tiny H right up there. Um, but I've tried to find out, just, just curious about it. Looks like it had some possible gold leaf around it that maybe has worn off over the years. But this is, this is my favorite piece. So anyway, um, I just wanted to share some things I have with y'all. And show you my haircut because I'm just really proud that I finally went and did it. And, and my, uh, my beautician is a freaking miracle worker. Um, I think she's awesome. I've been using her for about nine years. I wouldn't go anywhere else. I'd follow her to the moon if she went to the moon. So anyway, that's it in a nutshell. Um, just wanted to talk to y'all and share some things, do something a little different. I hope y'all have a wonderful day and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.